My name is Charlie McGrath. I'm the founder of WideAwakeNews.com and a host on the Rinse Radio Network. Riots are coming to this country. It absolutely boggles the mind on how well the uh, propaganda apparatus has divided this nation right down the middle. You know, a lot of us have been saying this is how this election is going to turn out, divide and conquer. But in, in my wildest dreams, I could never uh, imagine the hostility that we see right now. It's a proven fact. 86% of the people believe the government uh, is uh, non-functional, and they're frustrated with that government. We saw the uh, the Tea Party movement come out prior to the bailouts, talking about out-of-control government spending, and then we see the Occupy movement uh, uh, protesting the fact that Wall Street was saved. A bunch of too-big-to-fail institutions are now even larger than they ever were before the crisis of 2008. So the frustration is there. It has been there. But we've seen a propaganda machine turn this frustration from the people who brought us to this position, our non-representing representatives and the corrupt on Wall Street. Instead of having that frustration and hostility directed towards the people who brought us here, the mainstream media, the, the uh, so-called uh, leadership in Washington, D.C., uh, the so-called leadership of the red and blue team have done a masterful job at turning that frustration uh, to uh, one another in this country. We see people threats threats through uh, Twitter talking about riots if Obama is not elected again. Or we see the red team talking about how if Obama wins, the election is going to be completely stolen. There is so much frustration, so much pent-up anger in this country that all, it's a powder keg looking for a spark. Now, is this... Is this something out of the blue that we shouldn't be uh, expecting? Some kind of civil unrest, uh, riots in the streets, social pushback. We absolutely should understand that the powers that be know this is coming. This is why the Social Security Administration is sending out 174,000 hollow point ammunition rounds to over 41 locations throughout the United States. The Social Security Administration, right? These guys don't fight wars overseas. 174,000 rounds can only be meant to be used inside the borders of the United States, or NOAA picking up 46,000 rounds. And if that amazes you, then it should blow your mind that in March of 2012, the Department of Homeland Security, Department of Homeland Security, not fighting wars overseas, picked up 750 million rounds of ammunition. That's more than two rounds you could dump into every person uh, inside this country. In Iraq, in the war in Iraq, we were shooting, firing off 70 million rounds a year. So DHS, NOAA, Social Security Administration, and the list goes on, are picking up enough ammunition to fight a war inside this country. Why? Are they just doing uh, all kinds of outrageous firing uh, fire practice? Are they out there at the range just dumping ammunition down range like there's no tomorrow? Absolutely not. They understand what's coming. Christine Lagarde, the head of the IMF, puts out a warning almost every single day of the financial fiscal cliff we're about to go off. So you can paint a scenario. We either have Barack Obama reelected and the papering over continues to the point that the uh, world no longer trusts the dollar as the reserve currency, credit freeze, shutting down everything inside this country, riots in the street. Or we have the Romney-Ryan plan come into effect. They decide it's time to implement austerity, deep, hard austerity cuts throughout this country. We have uh, social safety nets being yanked out un from under millions of people rioting in the street. Regardless of which way we go, we end up at the same place. The problem is this. You, I, we are not to blame for the condition of this nation. You and I are going to be the ones ripping each other apart uh, because we bought into a bunch of propaganda on how we got here. We need to understand who brought us here so we're not ripping each other and destroying each other uh, uh, under false pretenses. And this is exactly what the game plan is going to be. While we're sitting here fighting amongst ourselves, the uber elite, the too big to fail institutions, and the folks that head them will be sitting here waiting to come in and swoop up what is left of this once great nation. Stories are attached. That's all I got.